the middle of the story is the most overwhelming thing to write, but you really can break it down and make it, make it manageable. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about the middle of your story. Specifically, I just want to run down a few things that I think are really important to be thinking about when you're writing the middle of your story. Writing the middle of a story is the most intimidating part of a story to write. Usually we have a sense of the beginning and the end and then there's this thing called the middle and we have to figure it out. So I just want to run through a few things that you can be thinking about that will hopefully keep you on track. Now, I have an entire workshop on writing the middle of your story, which if you want more detail than this, I highly recommend. That's gonna come with the class notes that have everything written out as well as worksheets that are going to help you really put it into practice and immediately start mapping out the middle of your story. So very helpful if you want more about it, I will leave it linked below for you. Middles of your stories. Several things to keep in mind. One, middles are about change. So you are taking the reader on an emotional journey. They are going on an emotional and mental roller coaster. And so you want variety. This is so key. You do not want to, you don't want every scene to be somewhat similar, every scene to be kind of the same. You know, Dune actually suffers from this a bit in the, because you can read chapter after chapter of Dune, they do this in the beginning where every, every scene feels very similar and it actually makes the whole story feel like it slows down. So we don't want you doing that, which means you want to have distinct goals for each one of your stories. So if you have taken my Great Scenes Mega Course Workshop, you know that every scene needs to have its own goal. Every scene has its own mini plot. Um, and so when you think about that, you want to make sure, okay, my scene goals are not all the same. I don't, not all my scenes have the same characters. Not all my scenes have the same goals. They have different types of goals. They have different movements throughout those scenes. If you have not taken the Great Scenes Mega Work, Mega Course Workshop, I really recommend it because we get into all of that and how to make that variety. But you want that variety. You do, you, you're, you're taking your reader through tension release, tension release, that's ever building up to the climax, but it needs to be different kinds of tension. They need to have different kinds of questions. They do not want to be feeling the same thing all of the time. So you want to take them around all over the place. So you want to make sure that you have that variety. And one of the best ways to make sure you have that variety is making sure that on the scene level, the mini plots that you're making, each one of those scenes is different different in terms of the mini plot, different in terms of the goal of the scene. And the Great Scenes Mega Course gets into the plot making and all of the different types of goals that you can have. So uh, make sure you do your variety in that way. You know, have variety of pacing, have variety of length of scenes or length of chapters, shake things up. Um, you know, do things, make sure there's change. So change of scene, change the setting, make the characters go places. This is going to help bring in the variety. Uh, change the characters that we focus on. We don't always have to focus on the same character. You can say, well, what do I do about a story where I'm mean, here we are, we're following the main character. You think of like a Harry Potter book, we, we're always with Harry. We don't ever leave Harry, that's true. But Harry isn't always around the same people and he isn't always doing the same thing and he isn't always facing the same challenges. All of those things get shaken up. So you want to make sure that you are giving that variety to the character, even if we're following the same protagonist all of the time. Type and intensity of conflict. This is an important thing to change. You do not always want your readers totally tense like this. You don't always want them relaxed. You want a variety of, of how tense they are and what they're tense about and the kind of tense tension that that is. So there are a lot of ways to make variety. And I know this sounds overwhelming. The middle of the story is the most overwhelming thing to write, but you really can break it down and make it, make it manageable. Um, uh, again, I get into this in the Great Scenes Mega Course, how you can break things down and make it manageable to get through. And we definitely get into this in this workshop, in the scene middles workshop. If you're, if you're having trouble with all of these ideas and how do I break them down into something manageable, 
the this workshop will help you a lot with that so I definitely recommend it um, another thing that is great to do in the middle of your scene is introduce some of your minor characters you do not have to introduce all your characters right away characters come and go and so your minor characters can as well and obviously it might sound it might sound obvious just to say well yeah introduce some minor characters but really think about your novel almost you know, it can be helpful to think of it almost as a play, a performance. When would it be interesting to have somebody new walk into the scene? You might know there's a minor character you want to work with, but when is the most interesting time for that character to show up? And what is the most interesting situation in which to make that character show up? You, you kind of want to think about those things because it's really going to help make that a more powerful moment so if you say to yourself well there's kind of a lull over here in this part of my main story that might be a great place to introduce this next character so really think strategically about the entrances and the exits of those characters and those uh, minor minor characters also can't say this one enough don't always let your characters succeed characters need to fail sometimes and they don't have to fail overall, but they will try things that don't work. I have got to see your character try things that don't work. If I don't, I'm going to be bored because I'm going to know that whatever they do works. So I'm just, why read? I need to see them make mistakes. Those can be internal mistakes where they have to grow internally as a person, but they can also be mistakes that they're making out in the world that didn't work. Like, oh, I needed to climb that mountain and I tried this way and it didn't work. So external and internal growth I need to be seeing. Growth happens when we hit roadblocks and make mistakes. Which brings me to my last point, which is show plans and then show what really happens and that what gets in the way of those plans. So that's one of the ways that you make suspense. You don't necessarily, I mean, there are different kinds of suspense. There's the what's going to happen next suspense, but you can give me signs of things that make me go, is this going to work? That's a different question than what's going to happen next. So uh, show intention and then let me wonder if that's going to work out or not. And then throw roadblocks in the way that make me go, oh my goodness, the plan is being threatened. What do we do now? This means that you build two events. This is so key. You're not just saying, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then this. You do not do that. You are building to the event itself. So you're going to have major events in your story. You have to build to them. Sometimes we'll just be going along, we'll get to them, but sometimes you're building up tension. And I have videos on this of building, building the tension in your stories and how do you do that? And I'll link them below. But, but make the reader sometimes just be like, oh my goodness, surprise, that happened. But make them other times go, okay, this is the plan. Is it going to work? You know, and give them that variety. Show, show intentionality on the character's part and then show what gets in the way of it. These are all things that are so important. If you, I really, I cannot say enough. Great Scenes Mega Course Workshop scene middles, those two are really going to help you because there is a lot going on in the middle of your story. And that's why it gets so hard. And that's and, and part of the reason that it becomes such a difficult thing to slog through is because you don't have that outline. And so I think my last piece of advice when it comes to a middle of your story is the more of an outline that you have of the internal growth of your character the better off you're going to be because in a character driven story if you've watched any of my videos i'm sure you've heard this that's what the main story is about which is why you start with the character arc you will have a stronger story middle if you have solidified your character arc and then mapped out critical surface plot events that go along with it which is what you do in character arc mastery that's what character arc mastery is all about so i recommend that as well which i will also link below but great story middle Make sure they're about change. Make sure there's a lot of variety in that change. Make sure you have suspense. Make sure there's a lot of variety in that suspense that you have. Um, bring in and out minor characters, but do it in strategic points. 
and definitely show failure of your characters and show intentionality of plans and then show those things not work out. Those are my recommendations for you. Again, I hope it was helpful. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I wish you well with your writing. Bye.